second chapter. Lesson number four. The various elements of your show, the videos. Prosha accepted many video format, virtually all current formats such as AVI, MP4, WMF, MOV, and many others. We simply make a recommendation if we preach to an output format to AVI DivX the HD standard. We highly recommend if you want to give effects to your video, convert to MP4 format before you integrate them into your show. Indeed, the program runs much better this format, and it will accept any changes, which is not the case for all other format, often causing and rendering errors. Now let's see how to embed a video in your slide. The video files are integrated exactly as image files. We have seen the different ways to do this in previous lessons. Also directly add our video layer. Select your file in your appropriate directory. In the browser window open by the command add image or video and click open. Your file is now integrated into your slide. As said above, the Adjustment tab is the same for all types of layer. We will detail in the last lesson of this chapter. Back on the tab, Layer Setting. On the left side, your video has been added to the list of layers. If it was not selected, made a simple left click on it to select it. As you can see, the Layer Setting tab is approximately the same as for a file of type image. Top left, you window previewing your slide. Now it contains a video file. When you click the arrow play, you see it unfold before his appearance changed or not applied to this layer on your slide. To the right of the preview window, you inset selected layer. It is the same as the image files containing the same information and commands. Click Info to open the information window on your video file. It contains its location, resolution, size and memory or file, the file type, the length of it, the video duration in hours, minutes and seconds, and color format. It also contains an overview of the video and a field containing the metadata, which is a structured information describing your file together. Click Done to exit this window. We have seen that in the information window, you will find the length of the video. It is also found in the box, Video Clip Setting, the front line. If you look at the Insert, Slide option, the first tab, Slide Setting, or your timeline, you'll notice that the length of your slide, its duration in seconds, was amended to the length of your video. This is only done by Prosha. If your video is longer than the total length of your slide, transitions begin and end Y range, and also only if it is the first layer integrated into your slide. Below left, you have two taps, layer type and Layer step. They are identical in the same functions as a layer of type image. So we return there. To their right, you can block notes associated with your layer. It is also identical to the transverse instrumentation for a picture. It is simply have over its height in order to allow the display of the last insert video clip setting. It is composed many of the different command and information about your video. First, as mentioned just before, you have the length of your video. Length. If you cut your video using Prosha, you have a second value, trimmed, which corresponds to the time value of the portion of the video that you will use. To do this, just to the right of this information, you have the button, trim. It allows you to split your video to retain the part you want. Click on it to open the associated editor window. In this window named, Trim Video Clip, you have three levels. The first, above, is a timeline, where you can see your video in a form of image sequence in a film strip. You also have a time scale, expressed in minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. And above, the time values from the beginning and end of your video. 
If you include a video with a soundtrack, it will also be visible in its analog form, just below the film strip. Just below, you have three inserts preview also containing some control cutting or cancelling effect of your movie. The first is the preview of your video, cut or not. Click play, the arrow to the right to start viewing the video. Pause, the two vertical bars joined, pause for scrolling, or stop the square to put the preview at the beginning of your video. You can simply place your cursor on the timeline, and a vertical bar inverted contrast will show you your position on it, and you can see the corresponding picture or the link to defilement messing in this insert. There is also a button representing a counterclockwise arrow. If you click it, any changes to the duration of your video will be cancelled and reset to their original value. The second insert, Start Frame, allows you to view and select the image in the start time of your video. To do this, either, you indicate directly the value of the desired starting time in the digital field, it is expressed in seconds and milliseconds. Either way, you run the animation of your video in the first insert, you pause as to the desired location. You will notice a bar did fill in the timeline, it corresponds at the time of the order. Mode is when you pause, you can click on the bar and move it to the desired location. You can tune the position with the two commands, previous image and next to image, both left and right arrows coupled with a vertical bar. Click on each one of them, your time will be moved from one frame forward or backward. Once you are at the location of time, click the command, set to start, this is the right arrow preceded by a vertical bar. Your video will then be time to start, the time defined by the insert. You can also set the start time by clicking on the start line in your timeline, it is topped by a wide triangle to the right, and dragging to the desired value. The third inset, end frame is identical to the previous one, but act on the choice of the end of your video. This command is important if you use the function, loop, or a stop on image a given time. You proceed as for the insert, start frame, in order to set the end time of your video, or, click on the end line, also in your timeline, it is topped by a wide triangle to the left, and you move it to the desired value. Your timeline puts blue highlighted part of the video that will be used in your slide. Below these three insert, you have a space for information on your video. It contains the location name of the file on your computer, as well as the value of the original time of your video and the value of time used. Next to it, you have a zoom control, allowing you to zoom the view of the timeline. If you use this function, the scroll bar of the view will be accessible in your timeline, allowing you to move and focus your sight on the required interval. Finally, you have the two-button control output of this publisher. First, OK, brings changes in the transverse instrumentation platform to your layer and closes the editor. And the second chancel closes the editor without making these changes, and retains the values set before opening it. The editor saves the changes on a copy of your file in your show, not the original file so that if you use the same video several times, they may have different values of cutting, using a single file. Shut this editor. The following command line, looping, allows you to repeat your video as many times as necessary until the end of the slide. To do this, you have a selection box. If you click it once, it will be checked, and this function will be used. If you click it again, unkit, and this function will be ignored. If this function is not selected, and your slide is longer than your video at its end, it will be paused on its last frame until the end of the slide, or use the ring. Just to the right of this command, you have the button preview. Click it and you will see your video in the viewer defined by windows to type it.
or the Windows Media Player, the Apple QuickTime, or any other program defined in your Windows setting. Below, you both time synchronization commands your slide over the video. The sync time button allows you to synchronize the current value of the video. If you change its length, the synchronization will be lost. Conversely, if you check slide time, the time will lock the slide relative to the video, regardless of the changes that you make it. Just below, you control speed. It allows you to define the speed of your video. It can vary from 0 to 200%. You can either register directly in the desired value associated digital box or the set with the slider control. Click on the digital box to open it, and click on the verging area to close. If you change the speed of your video, its duration will also be changed inversely proportional to it. If you do not want to cut your video, but adapt it to the different length of your slide, this command will be very useful. When you make a shift, you notice that the term will be modified directly in the display length. Finally, the last command line, set the sound level, volume, of your video, as well as time to fade the beginning, fading, and end, fade out. As the speed command, you can either enter it directly the values in the numeric field associated to them or use the slider control to each blossom from it. Animated files, such as GIF, are also included in the form of video file types. You insert them in the same way and have the same parameter trimming. As they are often very short, you advise to systematically check the box looping, so their animation does not stop directly at the end of the first loop, and continues for the duration of your slide. In the next lesson, we will see the insertion layer of uniform color, or solid color. Thank you for your attention.